up YouTube, this is Joseph Perrin here, Perrin Power Sports. And today we're gonna to be working on the water propulsion system on our amphibious go-kart project. So let's get right into it. So I was having quite a bit of trouble lining up the shaft and the engine. And um, that's because I thought they had to be aligned. And then um, I realized that I'm gonna be running a chain from the sprocket on the shaft to the clutch on the Predator 212. So really, it does not need to line up at all. And I can off-center the engine to the left so that um, we can pull the engine forward quite a bit more to give us a lot more leg room and um, to make it so it balances out the amphibious go-kart a lot better. Okay, so I thought I should explain really quick the uh, reason I'm going to so much extra trouble to put the engine inside of the uh, amphibious go-kart rather than just putting an outboard on it. And although the outboard would be quite a bit easier, I tried that and um, it didn't work too well. Not only did the back sink in really bad, but um, it was really hard to mount a four and a half horsepower engine because they're quite heavy. And uh, yeah, you'll just see what happens in the video I'm about to show you. So that's why we're going to be putting an inboard engine in this amphibious go-kart rather than a outboard engine because to get the amount of horsepower I want, which is like four and a half to six and a half horsepower, there is no way we could put an engine that big on the back of this without it sinking or falling off. So we're going to be putting this engine in inside of it and then running a shaft out the back with the prop on it. Okay, so I just moved the engine and I think this is going to work a whole lot better because now it's going to be more balanced. We're going to have more leg room and it's going to be way easier to install the prop shaft. So I guess the next step is going to be welding up the frame to support the uh, engine and the frame that's going to hold the uh, prop shaft in place with the bearings. So I finished cutting up the pieces and they look really good. Um, I cut all the pieces at 45s just so water wouldn't get into the inside of them because it is amphibious and water will uh, get into the hole of the boat. So I cut it like that. Now all I got to do is weld it and then I will see you when I'm done with that. Here's the motor mount all welded up and it looks great. Um, I designed it a little bit wrong though and there's a couple uh, small problems with it that are, are not gonna be too hard to fix but um, definitely need to be fixed before we can actually use this motor mount. So here it is inside the amphibious go-kart and it looks pretty good or seems to look pretty good. There's a couple small problems and uh, mistakes I made. One being that the sprocket does not fit in between those two pieces of metal. So all I'm gonna do is just cut this metal kind of at an angle like this and then re-weld another piece just at an angle. Um, that's not too hard to fix. The other mistake I made is I off-centered the motor mount to the right instead of to the left. 
So what I'm gonna need to do is cut two more of these pieces and put them on uh, this side. So then we'll just have a little bit more uh, stability in the frame right here. Um, and if we ever need to flip the engine around, so the uh, sprocket came out that side, we could also do that. So I guess now what I'm gonna do is just go cut up these metal pieces and I'll see you when I'm done with that. So I just cut out the piece right here and welded this piece right here and um, this piece I didn't have enough welder wire for so I will weld that later um, but for now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bolt up this uh, mount and I'm gonna bolt up the bearings and then we're gonna stick the sprocket on here and run the chain to it and see how that works. Okay, so I just drilled all the holes in the motor mount, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install the sprocket, the key, the collars, and the bearings. Okay, so I pretty much completed the water propulsion system of this build. And um, as you can see, I have installed the chain, the sprocket, the bearings, uh, our clutch, the engine, the motor mount, and the prop on the back. So now what I have to do is I'm gonna put some rubber washers under the bolts here to help with vibration because it vibrates quite a bit. Um, I need to bolt down the gas tank and um, then we'll be ready to take it out to the water. But before I do that, I wanna show you guys exactly how well this runs and works. So it runs very well and it works very well. Now all I have to do is fix those couple little things I told you about and then we will be ready to take this out to the water and see how it works in the water. All right, so now that we're out at the lake with the amphibious go-kart, we're gonna stick it in the water and see how well this thing drives. So overall, it worked pretty well, but um, we got a lot of water in the inside and uh, the prop broke off. So we're gonna need to figure out some way to fix the prop and then to keep water from coming into it. All right, so that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed, please consider liking and subscribing and I'll see you for part three of the Amphibious Go-Kart Project.